Let's talk about your income then. So one of the things that you want to be discussing uh, with your partner and with yourself and for your goals is what is your income going to look like? And so this is really important because obviously people go, oh, oh Dan, money's not important. It's not. Why are you working for it then? Why are you... People, you know, my friends used to say, oh, Dan, you, you, all you do is think about money. All you, all you do is talk about money. Money, 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 money. It's all you ever think about. And I'm like, dude, how many hours did you work last week? It's like 60. I'm like, right. Well, I work 30. You're working twice as much as, as I am. Yeah. But you're on about me thinking about money. You're thinking about 60 hours a week. I'm, I'm only thinking about 30 hours a week, right? People talk, say, oh, money's not important. It's bullshit. Of course it's important. It pays for bills. Enables you to buy the finer things in life. My little one goes horse riding every Saturday and Sunday. She absolutely loves horse riding, right? And that's my job as a dad. That is, is that will enable them to do the things that they really want to do, right? That That is part of my, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I sat down and I, I had a look at this uh, as a dad. What What is my job as a dad, right? And I also did this as what is my job as a CEO of a company that's actually getting quite a lot of staff on board. And, and part of my job is to, with the staff, is to provide them with resources so that they can go do, be the best of themselves to create for our customers, right? So that they can, in, in turn, do the best for themselves and their family and so on. And so that's my job. That's my purpose as a CEO and as of the CEO of the family, right? My job is then to provide resources for my wife, for my kids, so that they can go off and thrive and, and be the very best. It's not for me to make decisions for them. Sometimes it's my uh, job to advise, but the decisions are ultimately theirs. And so the money enables us to do that. Uh, the increase in revenue that we've had, and we've had a 40% increase year on year over last year, which is a decent increase, as I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, not without its obstacles, um, earning uh, not earning more money, but increasing revenues that way. There's a difference between earning more money and revenues, obviously, because we just plow it all back into the business. But uh, making sure that we know what our income targets are going to be. So if your target is 10 grand a month, what's your target for the, by the end of 2023? Like, if your target uh, for this year was 10 grand a month and you're hitting 10 grand a month now, Maybe in January, it's 11 grand. And maybe in February, it's 12 grand a month. And then 13 grand a month and 14 grand a month. And the process that you're going to go through to work out how to add an extra thousand pounds of monthly recurring income onto your revenues every single month, that process that you discover is your gold dust. If you learn how to do that and you learn it just for once, and then you can replicate it again and replicate it again, and you discover a method um, of being able to generate more business. Like, can you 10x that? Can you 100x that? Absolutely. And so people just want to get to the end goal. They go, want to go, okay, I'm, I'm on 10 grand a month. Now I want to hit 20 grand a month. I just want to get there, Dan. You don't understand. I just, I just need to get there. And I'm like, no, no, no. You have to hold back a little bit. It's the process. It's the learning of that process of how to add an extra 500 a month, an extra 1,000 a month, an extra 2,000 a month. That process right there is what's going to get you to doubling your revenues in the next 12 months or tripling or quadrupling your revenues. Because when you get to 10 grand a month and then you're getting to 20 grand a month, suddenly 40 and 80 grand a month and 160 grand a month is more realistic because you've done the groundwork. And most people don't want to do that groundwork. They just want to go, no, Dan, you don't understand. I just need 25 grand a month and I'll be set for life. You don't get to 25 grand a month and be set to life until you start learning how to manage the two and a half grand a month that you're currently earning. That's how it works. And learning how to increase that 10x, that's how it works. You don't get to manage a million pound portfolio until you've, mini, until you've managed the 100 grand portfolio. You don't get to 5 million or 8 million on property without learning how to manage the 2 million, the 3 million, the 4 million. This journey is what it's about. And so when we're setting those goals for 2023, having income of 50 grand a month, for example, well, where are you, where are you starting from, from this month? 10 grand? So you're going to go from 10 to 50? How does that look? What's, what does the work look like? What are the resources that are needed in order to make you achieve that. What does that look like? Have you quantified those yet? Do you even know what those are? What's your sales process? What landing page? What are the products? 
And so when people write goal setting, you know, they get a sheet of paper and they go, okay, and they get a pen. Um, my pen, this was a gift for my daughter, by the way. I'm very proud of that. Uh, so they get, and they go, okay, yeah, Lamborghini. Yeah, Lamborghini. Yeah, what else? A yacht. Yeah, I want a yacht. A yacht would be really nice. Yeah, what else do I want? Mm, six pack abs. Let's put them down. Yeah, yeah, you got that. Oh, what else? Ho holidays, 25 grand. And that's it. I've written down my goals. Thank you, Dan. I can I can leave now. Uh, something's not adding up, is it? Got the Lamborghini written down. I've got the six-pack abs. How about going to the gym every goddamn day? How about dropping your calories to 1,500 a day? It's too, too big a drop. 1,800 a day is what I'm on. How about uh, finding a method for marketing your business? And not just marketing your business so you can sell more, but having systems and processes that... Uh, enable you to fulfill the sales that you've just made you know this is a natural roadblock in most people's businesses you could i could sell 20 clients today but can we fulfill 20 clients today no that would cause us to go bankrupt that would cause a massive massive problem we'd lose all our clients if we did that we can't grow in such a way and so when we have these these goals it's great lamborghini six pack abs all that stuff wonderful love it awesome <laughs> But what are you putting in place? What's the step-by-step -step process that you're going to put in place that's going to enable you to get there? By the way, six-pack abs. Shit, dude, I'm 50. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. It is... We've lost 10 kilos since April. It's the hardest thing ever. We then get hit with bloody man flu, don't we? Lucky to be alive. The only known cure for man flu, of course, is Call of Duty, uh, as we all know. Fellas, right? Back me up on this. So it's hard work increasing a, a business by just 40 percent like just 40 percent that's, that's a huge amount of revenue increase with increasing staff and then you've got to add um culture to your staff <laughs> I and mean, everyone's um working from home you know there's no work night outs bowling where we where we work everyone lives in different countries for goodness sake <clears throat> so this stuff is really hard and so just writing down these goals isn't enough you need a a way of implementing what you've actually written down. 